And now another example of tourism alive and well in Bell Mullet. We've known about the wonderful hotels, of course, in town, but there's also this wonderful amenity here in Logmore, literally on the outskirts of Bell Mullet, just across from the uh, secondary school. We have this wonderful facility of four beautiful pods uh, sitting very proudly on this site which is owned by Regina and Joe Geraghty. Um, it's the Geraghty Farmyard Pods. I'll start with the ladies first. Regina is a proud Bell Mullet woman. Did you ever think you'd see the day when you'd be promoting pods in Bell Mullet? Well yes, myself and my husband Joe would have had a great interest in tourism. So we've seen an opening and we worked on the project and we've been doing it for the last three years. So. I always think, you know, when I see the word pods written down, I have a completely different image of what they are versus what I'm seeing here. Can you explain it? Or paint the picture. Well, it's basically a wooden framed um, glamping pod and it's the luxury of a hotel room. We have fully ensuite bathrooms, electric shower, uh, pull-out couch and there's a double bed as well. Uh, so it sleeps up to four people comfortably. And you've got four of them on site here. Any plans to develop to go even more? I know you're only a year in business, so I suppose it's baby steps. Yes, uh, yes there's room for expansion and we have that on our plans. Yeah. You better, I don't hope you know about that too, Joe. Um, can I ask you why you decided this was going to be a viable business? Um, well, I suppose back in 2014, we started with the idea of uh, setting up self-catering accommodation with uh, the Wild Atlantic Way kicking off and Eris winning uh, best place in the country to go wild. Uh, we knew that people would be looking for alternatives and stuff like that. So we decided to go for something different, something quirky and the pods really kind of suit up what we're doing. We have, you can stay in the pods and we have a self-catering kitchen there beside, so they can stay with us, get their meals ready, do what they want, uh, picnics, and then go about their business in the area to the beaches and other amenities that are around. I know that it's relatively low budget uh, holidaying, but there's a kind of an element of excitement about it. It's, it's just something different. Uh, it's, it's just it offers them something different and in the times we live in it gives them extra space nowadays to have their own family or their own friends in one group and they don't have to be meeting other people if they don't want. Yeah. Regina I've had a great day in Bell Mullet and I've really enjoyed it and the one thing that seems to be coming through over and over again from people is that Mayo people who've never been to Bell Mullet are experiencing Bell Mullet for the first time and a lot of people from the, the west of Ireland are going to have their staycations here. Are you noticing that even in the bookings? Hugely, yes. We are fully booked out now for the next three and a half weeks. Uh, hugely, they they're really love the Wild Atlantic Way. is really taken off. They're doing the coastal drives. They're, they're seeing all the amenities around the area and hugely this year, yeah. Brilliant. And uh, you have more availability. So if anybody out there wants to, uh, to to book, what's the best way to do it? Well, through we, we, we mainly do our bookings through booking.com and our, through our site and Airbnb. And there's also our direct numbers, Joe's number and my number. So they ring and inquire with us as well. All right. Well, you, you might take a double take when you're coming in at Logmore, seeing these four pods in the middle of Logmore. But they are brilliant and well done. It's a great business initiative and I wish you both the best of luck with it. Thanks very much.